sound check one two three all right we are back on the stream there we go so i just did my first day on arc survival ascended score start and it was mostly a blind run i just watched a video about the new bobs tall tales new additions all that but i haven't seen anything about the map i just dived in and i did my day one i survived for an entire day i built a pillbox and got some stuff in there now i'm just gonna explore the map and i'm gonna add some of my uh my like um usual and very much liked by me the uh, map markers so let's see and also where is the red obelisk at first let's see where i build my base what is that that is a titan let's see the titan the titan is so nice on the scorched dirt like the entire area is open and you can see it very clearly and what is the level of this titan is it one i do have the i'm just gonna get my binocular mod put it here just see oh it's a level 5 titan they are spawning at level 5 all right so where did i build my base on my playthrough i think it was here first and i went here not really i don't think it was this it is a uh, water all right let's go and do the obelisks first all right this is the red obelisk it's the map out yes christina barbu welcome to the stream this is the scorch dirt map and chopper man welcome back i just did like a three hour stream and i played day one on scorch dirt now i am checking the map it was a blind run so this area looks pretty similar we got some rgs here and why do i see this global lighting let me change something is it because oh i need to put this to epic every game i am changing some settings there was a setting to stop this flickering i don't really remember none of these are working these are for the clouds there is a setting to fix this but can't find it right now all right this is the red obelisk looking pretty mighty pretty nice there we go we can start the manticore fight here now i'm gonna stand here and i'm gonna add my map marker waypoints uh, which one is waypoints here add one let's go and make this a star and let's go obelisk b is not capital all right this is the red obelisk there we go it's gonna be here now there we go and let me see if i can found the cave of the gatekeeper there we go the cracks are here the map was out like uh, 12 hours ago even a little bit more how much did i miss in today's stream you kind of missed the entire thing I did one big stream and the day one is gone so but after a few hours i am planning on doing a couple more short streams i did the stream with the full screen i was hoping that i will get uh i was like seeing how much of the and here is the cave how much of the people that from the that seems smaller from the short streams we'll move to the uh, full screen streams it wasn't much and this is still here very good let's actually go and see the artifact as well let's explore the cave looking very nice changed quite a bit i streamed three hours and i got 100 views so that's my usual numbers uh, when i don't do short streams 
I just want to see if I could get like 300, 500. That didn't happen. So I'm going to go back to vertical short streams and I'm going to try to do like that. There we go. So this is the old tunnels and this should be the gatekeeper. And there we go. Pretty nice. I have 40, 50 FPS here. Pretty cool. Is that, uh, is that silk? It's not silk. I also uh, got myself some desert gear and my character looks very old. Why did I choose that color? It's so gray. Might change that later. And this area is pretty empty. We got some bright blue. Like this is the ship. Ship is sticking out. Right? Right, I don't want to deal with you now, scorpions. Let's go and... Let's go and find the artifact. So, looks like they haven't changed the... The map design. They just changed the... Oh, here is an XP note. The texture. I love the streams either way. Thank you for that, chopper man. It's nice to see you back here. And here we go. The artifact is supposed to be here. And it's here. What is the name of this? This is the gatekeeper. And this is the scorched spike skin. I just want to get a spike. Not spike. A spear. What is, is this? The pike? What happened to the... Last meet we went here. I forgot about that. It says spike, but it's for the spear. And it's actually for the pike, metal pike. I mean, maybe it can be... Uh, it's possible to do that, but there we go. I see that. Very nice. We have a skull. Oh, that's the skull. Oh, a creature. Is that a baryonyx? Kind of feels like a baryonyx. Maybe I can take like a picture like this. I'm gonna go to photo mod, take a picture, and that stats. Gonna turn that off. What do you think about that? Can be used. What is wrong with my shadow though? Increase that. Oh, I have epic. I have high now. It's epic. The shadow is just looking bad. I'm not, I'm not gonna take the shadow then. Oops, high and high as well. Something is wrong with the trees and I forgot the, how I was fixing that. Alright, let's take a picture of this and maybe go like this. Pretty nice. Could be the thumbnail. For this exploration. Maybe this is better. Just gonna take a couple. Alright, that is enough. Let's... Oh, so we discovered this cave. We just saw this cave. It was pretty nice. And I have lost my way. Alright, it's right here. There we go. We're gonna get out now. So we don't have a way. So this cave is actually really nice with a Tyla. You have a strong one. And the Megatherium is always good. I'm gonna test something by the way. The Megatheriums were able to walk in to this cave, right? But the entrance seems... It seemed a little bit smaller to me this entrance and we have the super heat by the way so it's not bugged let's get a megatherium and i'm gonna force tame it so did i use the megatherium to go in or i just actually used this is definitely smaller 
I don't know if the Megatherium was able to go in here, but now it can't. You have to use a cryopod. Oh, let's see the Tyla. Tyla could definitely get in here. So there's no doubts about that. Ooh, would you look at that? Can't enter this cave with the Tyla. That's crazy. They just made this entrance so small. If you don't have cryopods, you're going to have a huge problem. But Arcascended cryopods are different. You need to place a foundation here. Place a cryo fridge. Wait five minutes. This is going to be sad. And how can I fix this uh, flicker? get out from oh why i can't jump properly pilot jump seems broken or is it nerf is this nerfed the run is all right i'm gonna go now and the put the thing here Uh, gatekeeper. Let's put it. Let's go. Gatekeeper. I'm gonna make this red as well. Anything else? There we go. The gatekeeper is there. Takes a little time before my chat arrives. I think it's a bug with the jump. Looks very buggy. Uh, there is like 15 seconds uh, delay in the stream. That's just something YouTube does. I don't know why. Let's do the green obelisk. And for some reason, this is floating. Are you going to get fixed? All right, it is fixed. It was just, uh, just so weird. Like, I have my uh, distance on medium to get more FPS. And we have a floating mountain. Like when you get too close, he, it loads, but it's just it loads this part for some reason. Alright, let's see the green obelisk. So we have this thing and we have these huge probably a titanosaur bones. I don't think there is anything else that's uh, big like this. And we have this huge uh, pillar like thing here next to the green obelisk let's see all right it is pretty similar except this area wasn't like this and they made this areas also smaller i think closer to the water kind of recognizing this area and let's add the sad thing. Also, we don't have anything here. Let's add the green obelisk. Obelisk. And the green. Let's change that to a star. There we go. Green obelisk is here as well. So, where was the... Let's go to the desert for the artifact, it's the church cave. And I'm gonna look at how big the desert is. And this is actually nice, but this is good. Why it's getting this, it's disappearing when I get close. When I got close here, it's disappearing. Is it because I don't have full, uh, foliage? Yes, I think this is so nice. But if you have a lower foliage, you're losing it. So because, oh, there is some, this is so nice actually. I mean, this is actually something they thought of and I really like this. If there is a water vein, you can't have desert right here. Because this water will spill around the vein. And they just did this. 
so because of this water weighing uh, the area in like a circle there is some life here there is some uh, grass growing because they are getting they are like absorbing the extra water that's spilling that's so nice i'm just gonna put a water well here just want to see that there we go it's pretty nice drink water do you have a range here and we have a range and the range is actually lower than the lower than that area it's all right i like this so we got all these water veins all over the place let's see how big is the desert come on keep going keep going all right how what do you think about this so it's quite bigger right we need to load up the other game to make sure i'm just gonna go to the edges and like see the entire thing real quick There we go, let's keep going. I'm actually going to the wrong way. Let's look at the map and why are you not... Why did you not open area? I guess it's doing it now. There we go. So, someone drops you in this desert, you can't run to the safety. This is actually, this feels a lot bigger. And when I am so up high, oh, and it killed me actually. There is this glitch with the, with the sky, and that's still there gonna spawn in random location and i lost probably gonna lose the dcm let's go all right so we're gonna have to go back up let's see it more we didn't uh, unlock most of the area fortunately so where is the church cave the one that has oh there we go so we have the oasis or how about that so since i don't have the mod ah i didn't know that it actually worked so OSSR is a DLC creature you're not supposed to have it if you don't have the DLCs like and we have some resources here and craft the desert here as well let's wear all this so we got this oasis or and it actually gave me some stuff and in the creative mod with the admin mod you can actually use the oasis or couldn't find the spawn codes but i just found this thing and it has 20,000 hp doesn't have an attack there we go let's go down and it let me force tame this i did not know this also when you go into this uh, special water you get this uh, gaia's embrace kind of thing and i think you get some boost show buffs so you are empowered by gaia gaining increased movement and health regeneration all right we'll take that 
and oh and we got sandstorm i don't know how to end that anyway let me tame a force tame a creature real quick and i'm gonna kill that there we go so when you lose your tame and where is this i'm supposed to get a soul like a special thing from the inventory i didn't get it for some reason and that is actually used to just get out of this place maybe i need to wait a little bit let's go and walk so we can build a base here on top of this thing and i just saw the fossil there we go where are you damn it there we go it's pretty slow because of the sandstorm can you harvest the resource on the oasis or i think you can let's test it i saw that when you build structures and the resources are going disappearing let's get metal all right this should like a crystal oh we can't actually how about the tree and uh, i'm just getting sand from the sandstorm and when i do this i'm actually hurting the creature so the resources on the back of the creature on the top of the creature these are just uh, visuals we do got some stuff here when i first tamed it there was some things here i don't know so we can't uh, harvest the bush if i do this it sent me back and we can't harvest this tree so it's just a visual if you place a foundation it disappears and we can build quite a lot this doesn't uh, match now but we can place another one here we can actually build something like uh, five four by four five by four can build a quite big base on top of this but that won't be ideal because this creature is not a titanosaur it is doesn't it has a saddle let's get a saddle oh so i don't have the saddle in my inventory uh, where is the saddle of this thing there is a saddle box i guess it would be too overpowered to be able to harvest them i don't think it would be but we can level this let's try this so we don't have saddle for this and it has 20,000 HP, it's level 1. I don't know, maybe they spawn a little bit higher. There we go, this is quite big on top of this thing. alright and i'm gonna place this so what this makes four by two four six seven four by seven easily we can build and how high we can go let's go with this i'm gonna try to place a large wall we can place a large wall and that's just quarter wall one two three four we can place four high I didn't place large wall for some reason because we can't place this so you can go three high seven by four easy you can even probably build something bigger 
if you like consider some of the parts I think the main thing people will use this is for respawning the dinos so I have been keeping this for a long time let's kill it and no still no I did get my gerbils uh, what happens let's track the body I killed that gerbo that I tamed oh here it is you have to harvest the body as well now I got it now I'm gonna try to fix that so you can't get it from its inventory it looks like it about here also what is this sometimes it sent me to this you we can't harvest the resources on top of this thing but it's opening a box like this os source resource inventory i think it's different adjust turret the reload fill cap what is up with this creature Enable visual indicator and now, all right, uh, reincarnate dino in 24 hours. So it's gonna do that. And how can I access the resource inventory? Oh, so here. There is another box here, like oh, invisible box. Up here, you have to look up. If you look down, you see the inventory. Inventory, oh, and we have this. In 24 hours, we're gonna be able to bring this back. I don't know what kind of creature that's gonna be. Is it gonna be baby, like they said? Like they guessed, actually. They didn't say that. It was a guess. Alright, uh, without the... Bob's Tall Tales, I managed to tame this and I can use it, but in the admin mod. If it wasn't the admin mod, I'll probably can't use that. And this is how it works. It doesn't have an attack. Quite a nice creature. It can fly. And also I think it can stay in the air as well. It's also not that slow. I don't think it's like the Desert Titan. Also, hey... Why I'm lying? Hey, Crazer. I think you get that. You uh, spell that wrong. I'm getting 30 FPS on Scorched Earth on Ark Survival Ascended. Yes, Chopperman, you can bring them back in time. Well, it's. Uh, I think it's bigger than the island. I think I will enjoy it better than the island. We'll see. Oh, you are getting 30 FPS. Is it uh, more than the island? I'm not sure. The map is bigger, but uh, most of it a uh, desert. So maybe that's why. What you are getting on the island? So it flies, it flies and stays up there. How are you losing stamina? It's not losing stamina. Let's see the shotgun. Do you think it's playable on my GTX 1060? Well, if you put everything on low, you can see maybe. Let's see. One shot and I did like almost a thousand. Let's uh, export. Where is the unclaim? So I can't unclaim this. I was getting 25 FPS and average 28. It can be killable. I don't see the damage numbers, but with a full shotgun shot, it, it lasts like 3000. So it's not gonna be a raider or anything if we can't get higher levels. Alright, that's better if we can get more FPS and. Would be nice to see all this 
Let's do a first time real quick. Where's the fire? It's quite uh, slow, but this is insane. People are gonna love this. It is so crazy. I'm just hitting space and it's going down. It's like Sarko in water. I think it's playable and after optimization for the game was alright, okay. And this is what we saw on the trailer. It was doing this, uh, but it's not doing any damage. I need to improve the minimum requirements. And Smetpads, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I'm just exploring the... Oh. Exploring the Scorched Earth on Admin Mod. Looks lots of damage. Yes, it did. We're talking about the SSR. This, uh, this delay in the stream is really bad. So, can I do this without the desert? Can I do this with... And there's like rocks and trees. Oh, we are destroying the trees. That's stronger than the... That worm. And can we go in? So, we can't do that on water about here there we go so you can just go everywhere you are destroying the trees the rocks the everything is everything on your way nothing can stop you on this fossil lachusos and it's super fast look at it the only thing that can stop this creature is the water so I'm gonna hit C, X, and rest doesn't do much. Definitely better, and that's nice. I wonder how other people are seeing this. No one is escaping you on this, by the way. And look at this turn radius, like... This is gonna be insane. But I think they can bola you. And if I dismount, it stays in the uh, underground for a second and then goes into a little pile of sand. This is crazy, man. Look at it. I mean, they finally made something. That's really fits well with the terrain. Who can tell this if I like turn this off? Who can tell that there is a creature there? It blends perfectly. Unless you change some of the settings, there is no way you can see this. I'm getting 44 FPS on 720p low settings. That's actually pretty well. And how can I unbury? There we go. I guess this is gonna be a nice way to hide the uh, loot as well. I don't know, maybe if you can like uh, land in with the terrain like here. Let's see how is that gonna look. Chopper is that playable, it still lags sometimes. And this is not looking that perfect, but still something. And if you hit, it goes back. Let's wait. Oh, I forgot to add the chat to the screen, actually. Anyway. Alright, so I add the green obelisk, but I didn't add the... It was this way, I think. But I didn't add the artifact. Where is that church cave? Is that it? What is this structure? Well... Uh, it looks some pretty new. What is this? Is this the... Well, they almost completely remade this area. Except this going down, 
uh, and this uh, broken area this is a completely new structure and we have actually a city here here is, here is the towers and we got the buildings we got the houses so this is like a town hall this is called like the church cave but it's like the main building of this civilization and we got these things and atroplera but the houses are actually not that small they are human sized houses that can be used very nice all right this is the new artifact point do people struggle well of course uh, everyone struggles with that especially when there are buildings and dinos the fps struggles more all right and these uh, windows are completely changed can i Go there, go in and out. There we go. Alright, oh, what is that? It looks a little bit scary. And we also have this tower here. If they made this a little bit bigger, it could be like a good offensive point we don't have any way to go up into this tower i mean maybe you can grapple or you can build like this you build up and it's too big can this use uh, as a like sniper tower Oh, I actually fall. Have to place more structures. Well, if you have the collision disabled, this could be a nice uh, sniper tower. Let's go back. And I don't remember the name of the artifact, though, so that's why we're gonna go and find it. We will also see the ruins all nasty. Well, what is, what are you talking about? Uh, we were, we checked the gatekeeper cave, and it was almost exactly the same, but they just changed uh, the texture. I got 960 Ti or 980 Ti and I got 100% GPU usage, low everything settings, probably 30 FPS. I think all GPUs uh, give you 100% usage, but they don't give you more FPS. Uh, my GPU says like 99% uh, usage as well, something like that. But the CPU doesn't say that. CPU is low. Alright, this feels like this is completely changed. And uh, unless, like, I already forgot about that. This looks completely different. They basically built an underwater castle. Not underwater, underground castle. On... Um, on this one and what is this is this water no this is just so bright blue very nice let's keep going nothing is recognizable in this area completely different looks like it maybe this area all right i guess this area is you were coming here and there was a jump down here this area is similar Let's keep going. Oh, it's the storage. They are. This is also taking a lot of storage. All right. Am I gonna be able to find the artifact? There we go. We got some creatures here. When I see these ruins, I really wonder about how is it to. How was it looking when it was at its prime? 
There we go. It is right there. The artifact of the destroyer. And this sword skin. Let's take the sword. This is the sword skin. Let's go. I'm gonna fight you guys. So these are level 150 mantises. Let's get out. It's taking too long. With this primitive sword. All right. I kind of got worried yesterday like that. I was like hearing weird sounds from the PC when this game was running and uh, my room was 30 degrees. Somehow in this season, we got a heat stroke, something like that. All right. This is the sword skin. And this is the artifact of the destroyer. Oop. Let's go and mark that. And they changed the entrance so much. And honestly, I think it looks good. But I haven't thought about how will this affect the PvP in this. Let's see, like, would you put a tower here? Probably not. Not sure it is. It looks like it's less defendable. Maybe like you could put uh, the defenses over there. But people would just walk here. Can you put a Giga here? I guess we'll see later on. Alright, this is the entrance. So I'm gonna put the destroyer name here. destroyer let's go with green and red turn this off there we go the destroyer is here now we're gonna go to the blue obelisk let's keep going after i put these and I think i'm gonna have to take a break and then i'm gonna continue this let's go back they made it a free dlc too uh, what do you mean? Hey Kaiser, does it does it still work to give an artifact to other? I think it should, but I can test that. Let's go with other. Oh, don't run away. Oh, it's just so fast. There we go. Give it. There we go. The otter can carry the artifact. Very nice. Uh, let's see the blue obelisk, actually, before I type that. So, it looks so different, honestly. It looks like a swamp here. What happened to the desert? What happened to the scorched earth? This area, like, you could put a rhino nata here looks pretty well it looks so green and this entire area is taking advantage of oh, that oasis very nice northern west oasis quite beautiful this area let's put the let's now put the blue obelisk Squash Dart is a free DLC. Do you run the game on Steam version or do... Well, yes, this is the Squash Dart I am playing right now. And I got it free. I didn't bought the... I didn't bought the... Uh, pay DLC, the Bob's Tall Tales. It will run better for me at least. Really? So you bought the game twice? How is that... Uh, working or can you play it with if you buy it from steam don't think that is possible though let's go with star and blue there we go here is the blue obelisk quite nice honestly really like it 
We have these defensive lines here. It's look, it looks like a meteor crashed here and managed to pull the water deep down. Alright, now what is missing? I need to put the thing here, the artifact. What was... Let's see. Here is the obelisk. And we don't really see this area as well. Oh, we have this waterway. Pretty nice. Does the game feel laggy sometimes? Do you feel uh, laggy with the stream? It does lag sometimes, but I am looking at the OBS and sometimes feels like OBS has lower squash judge really change or you're just uh, in chopper. Well, that's that's pretty bad if that is happening. There's some RGs, but how to disable this event colors? Wish we could do that. There's a, a Lymantria. Right, I'm gonna go to the next cave in a bit, but I need to take a break, then I will be back.
right sound check sorry about the mix up with the timer i just have 10 minutes on that scene all right let's continue so let me check if i put the obelisk all right the blue obelisk is here now we're gonna go to the cave so where was that it was around here there we go i think i remember this should be somewhere here thank you i'm back now and where is the entrance of that cave and those tony dragons are they were super interesting now we got even more crazy creatures so where is that cave it was somewhere here and i'm just gonna turn on the fps looks like it is getting I'm losing some I think it was here if I go this way. The cave is hidden. And is it why I can't find it? Did they change it? What is this river like area? What is going on here? This is new. We what is that sound? Alright, we got a little secret hidden oasis here. I don't think we had that before. So hidden up in the mountains. Right here. We got a little lake looks pretty well but it doesn't provide you with any insulation it's still really hot where is the entrance now find that this is not it I do hear the tony dragons they're quite loud is it the obvious uh no it's not always other the scorched maps feels bigger compared to the old one i do feel like that i hope it's not an illusion i'm gonna check the desert even more What is this? There's like a really high wind sound around here. Open this. And opening the inventory is causing me some FPS drops. What is this? Is that the entrance? Seriously? This area changed so much. Looks like uh, they almost entirely rebuilt this area. I remember this area going up from here on top of the cave. And I had a base here. It was going this way. So they kind of redo the area and only kept this part. And there was a huge bridge here. They removed that completely or uh, pushed it away. And now this is the cave for the artifact oh was it craig or something what is this a stone just stone i guess all right let's go in and get the artifact and my fps dropped the 30 that could be because oh there's some little bit 
Uh, RAM usage problem. Plutarch ascended. In time, it starts using more RAM and that lags. Alright, uh, I don't really recognize any part of this cave except maybe these waters. Yes, I recognize this area. We were coming here and now it looks even better. I'm gonna stop that and gonna take a picture. Looks pretty nice. We can swim here. Pretty nice as well. There should be a ramp here. If I remember correctly. There we go. The ramp is here. We can bring a megatarian here and then uh, use the ramp to go up. Let's keep going. Oh, very nice. This is similar. This uh, area is pretty similar. Also, I recognize this area as well. Not much changed. And this area is also similar with this uh, turnaround, but the texture is completely different. I'm gonna take another picture. I'm gonna share these on Instagram probably. This area looks really nice as well. Look at that. That looks like a Rex head. The water is also in the same place but still different. And we have this huge jump. We had some uh, gap here but it wasn't this big. Let's keep going. And at the end of this tunnel, there should be artifact. But I haven't uh, actually saw any rubble golems. Where are they? Maybe since I just started the stream. And that's why. It is not stream, but... Uh, the server they haven't found all right and this area is same as well but there was a huge dino bones here looks like they removed that right right behind this uh, area there should be a room with the artifact let's see there we go that's the artifact and they added water and remade this entire area. Pretty nice. Another picture. Just gonna go up there and get the artifact. Artifact of the Craig. And we have a torch skin. Gonna get that torch. Let's take a look at this torch, even closer. AFK, be back soon. All right. Let's go up. I'm going to leave this cave now, and I'm going to put the Craig name on the map. It's time to go all the way back. Pretty nice, quite improved. Not so different, but it looks way better. So much more details. Let's just run. This feels a little bit better. Uh, visually, I mean. But again, no golems. There were always golems in that room. Alright, welcome back. Ooh, that was a huge black spike. Is it uh, ram? It's not ram, it's the game. Uh, 
and how is my FPS? Ooh, my FPS is it's now 40, back to 40. Right. And we got super heat. Alright, this is the entrance of the cave. Let's remember that. Just gonna destroy wild dinos. Alright, this is gonna be it. This is the crack, it's gonna be blue, right? Blue. There we go. This is so nice that we can place a. Uh, uh, oh, uh, that's not wrong. Oh, that's correct. We can place a waypoint right where we are. We don't have to look up any numbers. W, uh, D, W, and S. I kind of do. Welcome back. How are you doing? There we go, I put uh, all of my landmarks here. So, do they add more caves? I think they're not changing the fundamental parts of the maps. They're just uh, remaking them, remodeling them. Let's fly around a bit. So, is it bigger? Is it bigger? Maybe a little bit. I'm gonna go back to the desert and try to see better. Well, this is definitely a larger map. This map definitely way bigger than... Look at that o o obelisk. It's definitely bigger than ASE, so this is the end. I think people might have built. Not sure if it's uh, it's not flat, so probably not. But this is uh, so far away from the obelisk. Let's go that way. And this area was like there were. Uh, it was like there were no desert on this part of the obelisk and now it's pretty similar they haven't increased the desert here the blue obelisk and the desert area was so close i guess it's not that big like they did increase the size but maybe 10 percent i would like to prefer have vast and like this endless desert Something like you can go and be like super away. Basically only see the obelisk from afar. Something like that would be so nice. Let's go this way. I'm gonna go check my base spot. And I'm gonna drop this guy. And we got this area, the uh, Manticore, what do you call this, Manticore uh, Gladiator area, something like that. We have here, you sit here, and you watch people fight. We got a long stair here, very nice. You yeah, just use uh, your Spino Trap design and got... 150 Spino, Captain Chicken, welcome to the stream, and that is nice to hear. Sorry guys, I have a test tomorrow, I have to leave the stream early and study again. Love the streams, bye, be back tomorrow. Alright, thank you for watching, Chopperman, and joining the stream. I hope you get a good uh, result on the exam. And the video 
will be there most likely you can check the rest later on all right this is quite a lot of desert area is that it let's go like this and didn't check the wyvern trench i'm gonna check that later I'm just checking how large the desert is I guess the most desert is here between green and the blue obelisk. And this is the Rex area. This is the Rex area, quite similar. So in this area, why don't I see dinos spawning? been a while Ooh, and this uh, sand is so much higher now it's like a mountain sand mountain they like change this and like increase the height quite a lot and there we go the rexes are spawning here again and this rex have 32 oxygen pretty high and we got the vultures flying around and Mary Young hey welcome back how are you doing so I didn't really do a proper uh, map exploration like I didn't open the entire thing just works weird like do i need to wait here or something so you can unlock it if i have to like go down and up all right what i was gonna check so without uh, oh we have crystals now here and we have so many crystal and up crystals and obsidian. Uh, I think these uh, landmarks uh, were empty. Now they have huge crystals and obsidians. That's good. Finally, let's go back to the uh, to my base location that I really liked. Where is that area? was supposed to be here was the huge bridge uh, next to the close to the green obelisk there we go this is it this is my base location I built bases here twice and they added something like this here a tower and we have this little tower right now and these are similar very nice I might have built another base here but I'm playing on one time so I'll probably build a base here and build a ramp going down maybe this area looks pretty similar but where are the golems give me a golem I haven't seen one yet now they changed I think the golem camouflage and it's not that easy to see anymore can't see anything like where is the golem is that it it looks like a golem so no golems yet oh I kind of messed that up Hold Q and change that. There we go. So maybe this will help me locate a rock golem. So rock elementals are nowhere to be found. I haven't seen one yet. I didn't see a rubble golem. Just nothing. And they didn't make the same mistake on ASE. Like the golem looks like. Mm, merging with the area quite well 
and I can't just see that they were also spawning in the air sometimes and falling down that didn't happen so far let me spawn a rock elemental in oh it is spawn there we go well I guess it's still noticeable I think it just didn't spawn and I go back the area is so yellow is that it it's still very difficult to notice there we go it's going down do you think it's blending to the terrain I think its shape is not blending it has a special shape but the color is almost perfect color is perfect the rock golem color all right now i'm gonna do something to help my current gameplay uh, i'm gonna do day two soon but i need to do a little scouting around my obelisk obelisk area first thing i need to find my base i think this wasn't the base was some area that was on high ground and that I could like jump I think this was it this was my base that I was going and jumping here so and I had a little patch hut here and then I moved that patch out here so all right this is one of the worst places to build a base but if i run straight there is a water well here that's good and i can put two so what happens if i put a water this i usually do these kind of things uh, in the single player and you apply that on official now I'm just using another map so what happens if I hit Q just changes its direction and I just need to place this away from that all the way here so the water tank is cheap no problem with the water tank but uh, the water well is it required oh it's not expensive it's cheap actually just 15 paste i can do that i just need to kill some uh, jug bugs and then we are done and the uh, red obelisk is so far away i can't go here now i need to locate metal and then a limentria here so where is metal so the metal is so far away did not spawn in a good area unfortunately and I was gonna actually check the train the tracks let's see this this is what we have we can't unlock any of this stuff and we can't craft any of this stuff and i don't have the levels actually let's get that levels and let's get that level real quick so we can see the pictures of the new uh dlc Engrams. All right, right now I am at max level, so let's go down all the way. So dynamite skin and windmill, and we can't craft any of these stuff uh, right now. Not sure if we can spawn them in. 
I did saw that we could get uh, we could get the Oasis or I can tame that. I'm gonna go with train and is there a what is the name? Train engine. Train engine. We don't really get that. I guess they're not updating the Wikipedia page. So we have all these uh, items. Unfortunately, we can craft those. I was gonna like check if I can craft the train track or anything like that. So they don't let us. It's behind the paywall quite heavily. Also, I'm gonna get the desert. Uh, not this actually, the ghillie. Let me show you the new ghillie. So this is the old ghillie. All green. And this is coming with the Scorched Earth DLC by the way. This is not something you need to pay for. So it's just a, a yellowish version. Can't really hide there but like this. It's not bright green, so you can fit better with the terrain. And like this. Difficult to see. If you use normal ghillie, it is quite. Uh, this area is still green, so it's actually better. But the terrain still shows you a little bit. This is way better, I think. Because you blend in with the sand. Alright, I think I have I survived in... Wait a second. It's loud sound. I think I managed to survive in one of the most uh, difficult. Need to tame myself a parasaur. And this area is full of raptors. I can go, if I go front, I'm gonna see water well. If I go left and climb that mountain, I guess this is where I'm gonna find the resources. Is this no no there are so many better areas you just need to dodge the creatures so I don't see no metal there we go here is the metal I need to climb this mountain how can I climb a mountain on scorched earth we don't have anything. I can make grapples, but they require metal. So I need to tame a Lymetria and then climb this mountain, which this mountain is beautiful. There are so many uh, resources here. But how can I get a flyer? I might need to restart my game and start in one of the easier areas. This is a easy area as well, but I mean the uh, near the green obelisk. Here is a kangaroo, ankylos. I got zero metal. I get zero metal from normal rocks. If I could get a little bit, I would survive like that, but I get no. Still no Lymantria. Alright, so I'll probably look a little bit more, but that's gonna be in uh, that's gonna be it for this stream. Do you have any, like, what is that? It's ruins. We have a note. Do you have any 
request oh you check something oh i forgot let's actually check the wyvern trench these clouds are it's crazy all right the wyvern trench looks pretty similar very nice the desert is good you just need to play it on high uh, the wheel distance otherwise the further areas looks pretty bad there we go wyvern trench looks quite nice did you look at the new caves? No, I haven't looked at any of the new caves. Or do you mean the old caves, but with uh, ooh, with the new terrain and with new textures? I'm looking at the Wyvern Trench right now, and they are following me. Let's see this guy quite nice enough for stay mu and we can fly around level 285 that's what you get for for staming they added new caves i heard i'm gonna check that before i finish with you i guess i should check that We don't have anything here. Let's do a lightning breath, but this area is so bright. Go there. I'm just gonna Google that real quick. And why do I see flicker? So this is a lightning wyvern. Looks pretty nice. Let's put you to passive. Pretty scary. Kinda looks different a bit, and the lightning breath is like a ball. Oh, look at that! I like that. Do you see what the lightning breath does? It has a residue. This is nice. You can write your name with this. Only happens on the ground. Pretty nice. Infinite stats. There we go. And the rain is still bad. I hope they can fix the rain. There we go. And can we do K mod and uh, look down? Alright, we can't. That is showing you like the lightning breath actually did went. Look at that, guys. I like that. And we can do something. And when we are on K mode, we can't actually use the lightning breath. I think that's kind of weird. There we go. The dust on its flaps. Really? Ooh. That's like a uh, water mechanics. It's uh, pushing all the dust, and if I do C, that's decent. And let's just fly a bit. I was expecting, like, I wanted a bigger desert. It's like a desert on the edge instead of like a map inside a desert. There's like deserts nearby. There we go, let's fly. And they change the lava. Completely, I guess. It looks pretty different. 
Can we do from here? Yes, we can. It's like lightsaber attacks. It's leaving a light behind. Does the map feel bigger? bigger? Yes, the map feels bigger like on the island, not uh, so much. I'm looking for a wyvern egg. Alright, enough for this. I need to get myself a fire. Oh, let's stay in that. Get that fire. And now this looks quite different as well. That's not a good picture. Go. Now let's go in and check the fire breath. This looks different. But I don't have enough stamina. And it's actually leaving some fire on the ground as well. I feel like not as much fire. At first, it's like a little, uh, little spit. But if you like turn around, it's like more fire. And if you do like this, and uh, it looks like sparkle, that's quite bad. If you use the fire breath on like down, it looks like little uh, fireworks. Have to do like this to see more. Let's burn something. What is that? We have four hundred, and this is so much damage. We do one hundred here. Maybe that was taking so much. Can I spawn in an alpha fire? Alpha wyvern? The fire. Mega wyvern. There we go. How big that is? Not that big. Let's get out. I'm gonna leave this. No eggs yet, and the rest looks similar. I feel like we could be able to spawn in some of the uh, Bob's Tall Tale items. That's why they are not adding any of the spawn codes. On the Wikipedia page, uh, not Wikipedia, Arc Wiki page. They were like adding these codes like immediately, but now they're not adding it. So even if you buy the game, you don't like you can't find the spawn codes. I think because it works even if you didn't buy it. This stuff. Also, let's take a look at it. We got the bowler hat, drifter boots, drifter gloves, drifter hat, drifter pants, shirt, and then rancher outlaw. All that stuff we have frontier structures this is just a wall at a uh, wall skin that can be applied on everything we got platform car this is the good item you need this to really increase your farming and we got a bell that can turn dinos into aggressive i saw that and this is the train train is so great I think I'm gonna buy the buy this overpriced DLC so I can build uh, my own map, you know the story map. And I can't imagine scorched earth map with NPC tribes. 
without trains so i need to like connect the entire map with trains you know i think i need to do that and we got windmill that's about it so they ask 30 dollars for this also one dino OSSR and train couple items they are like going don't wanna say like something bad but they are going off the charts with this pricing it's basically asking them to like like support the channel you know like join the channel it's like that you don't really get anything you're not buying something you're just supporting the company I feel like that's what uh, they are doing. They're kind of not so terrible because they're giving the score start for free. You know? So it's like... Instead of like saying you don't have access to score start as well. They're just saying that. They want more money for the dinos. That's so screwed up. And it includes the aberration and extinction bobs tails too. That's good, but I think they're gonna release uh, more DLCs with those maps. I don't think this is gonna be enough. Like I checked the numbers, score start is here, and it was eighteen thousand people playing this. There we go, uh, Lymetria. So, is there anything that I should check? I wanted to try the new dinos out. So you can try it. You can OSC so can I spawn that in? I guess I can spawn that in. But I found one in the desert and you can't tame it. Oh what is happening? So they are not sharing these spawn codes, I couldn't find it, but I found one OSSR in the desert and I managed to force tame it. So if you have the admin mod, you can force tame it. Where was that creature? I think it was near the green obelisk. Let me see if I can find it. Where is that? Fire Wyvern, other OSSR. Where is it? The uh, track this. Here is it. I don't know the spawn code for the OSSR. Did you not buy it then? They, we had to pay for the dinos. I haven't bought it. I just saw this. It spawned on its own. And I first tamed it. So you can actually, if you find it, if you do force tame, you can ride it, you can use it, you can do everything. It's not locked uh, behind a paywall. But if you type here OSCs or um, like uh, none of this actually works. These are not spawn codes. These are something with this. We have this uh, resource thing. It generates a resource uh, with time. And for statement, you can use it. You can land it. Like, it does everything. Works properly. But if you can't find one, right now, we don't have a way to actually get this. Also, we can, like, get the dinos back. I put a scorpion here. But it wants in 22 hours. It's quite high. And there's also, looks like, a decay timer with these essences. So this creature is 30 USD. I mean, if you think about that, feels like bad. But you're just gonna have to uh, think about that they need this support so they can make the other maps it's like 30 usd for squash dirt map as well but they are given that free and it's making the adventure pack so overpriced because five items 20 skins and one dino 
pack is definitely not 30 USD. No wonder why I'm not being a, not able to spawn stuff. It's not letting me. Yes, you can spawn. You do find the spawn codes for this stuff. I looked at the official site and they're not sharing it. And these are not craftable in the inventory. I guess if you have another player in your world that has the DLC, you can kind of use some of this stuff. But won't be a personal use, I guess, a tribe use. There we go, we're going down. And maybe I can get a picture like this. This is so. Like this. I want to hide these hands. And they didn't like. Uh, introduce a hide hands feature just gave me a message it says not allowed to spawn in any creature and it's showing me something here like a range disable So we're gonna do this and I'm gonna land it it's gonna land now like a harmless desert titan And I look like I'm flying Go like this. Still looks like flying. So it's thirty dollars for one creature. We can spawn in the other new dinos. I think other new dinos are coming with the scorched earth, not with this game, not with the. Uh, adventure pack let's go with starting go oh. alright so I think I'm gonna end the stream now I don't think there is much to do at this point with the admin mod. You just have to play the game and experience the stuff. What is this? Got a little lake here. And let me check uh, my old base location. About the weather here. Northern Canyons, 29 degrees. Not that cool. And we have this water we have berries here we have silica pearls is that we got a berry annex this area was filled with This was filled with all the silica pearls and where are they now? I don't really know any other silica pearl locations. This is the best one other than the obelisks and there should be some under here. What did they do with the silica pearls? This area is so full and oh they actually added a river here this river was uh, here also but it was dried out so i'm getting stone sand 
is bad. We had silica packs right here. Just gonna destroy that. All right, here's a new challenge: find the silica pearls. So the make the map free is the train train free. So the train is not free. We're just selling the train. Is this for real? Like. Oh, and Whip has a new uh, symbol, but it has the old texture. That is quite bad that I don't see any silica pearls. Uh, do they spawn in time? Oh, I finally saw. There we go. We got silica pearls. And why am I getting five silica? I got four. This is one times I'm getting one stone. I think silica is multiplied like that. Got two, three on island, and here got like five and eight. Sometimes five, four. Well, I hope the silica respawns in time because we're gonna have a huge trouble like that, especially if one times. Since this is not gonna respawn, that will derail my progression. Alright, thank you for watching, dear watchers, and I'll see you on the next one.